Thank you, Alan. It's 648 on Monday. It's all about you and your mental health. Valentine's Day. It's all about the love, but for some it could be about loss and loneliness. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony joins us live in studio with tips on keeping your mental health afloat around Valentine's Day because it can be heavy for some folks, TJ. Look, that's exactly right, Juan. A Valentine's Day is just a day away, and while it's all about love for many, for others, it's about love loss. Whether it's a tough breakup or even just the death of a loved one, there are some things you can do to ease that heartbreak. He helped me raise her and then my first grandbaby. Rosalind James is talking about her Valentine from last year. Arthur Gibson, the same man her daughter Stephanie James, considered a special part of her life. Well, he was pretty much a father figure for me because it was it was not, it was not a time that I needed him that he did not uh, he wasn't there for me. Valentine's Day for them looks different this year since it's their first Valentine's Day without Gibson. Counselor Gloria Cisse says there are plenty of people who are excited for the love filled day, but there are also people that may feel differently. Those who have lost someone, and depending on how long that person has been gone, they may be feeling very, very sad right about now. CSA says February 14th can mentally impact single people too, since they may feel left out, and that can turn into a bigger problem. And it could lead to depression, but I think that that would be a long-term um, uh, negative impact of mm -hmm. Uh, not having someone in your life and, and really wanting to have someone in your life. She adds it's important to remember it's just one day. Try to focus on the joyful times that you had with the loved one that's no longer in your life now. Also, remember yourself on the day. You can celebrate and be your own Valentine, right? So if I'm really bad about doing this, I'll buy myself a gift at the drop of a hat, right? So buy a gift for yourself. Send yourself a bouquet of flowers. For Stephanie and her mom, they plan to remember the good times when Arthur Gibson was a part of their Valentine's days. Now I'm going to think about him a lot. It, it is. It is. And the counselor in the story says also go out with your friends and just celebrate those friends that you just love so much on Valentine's Day too. Back to you. Thank you so much, TJ, for that story. Well, now Valentine's Day is tomorrow and chocolate is usually included in gifts. New research out of the UK shows why chocolate is so special for the day. 